Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> for a um, producer's commentary video with our friend Adam Clark. <laughs> Today we're just here, we're gonna watch The Trail, which is Adam's movie. If you haven't heard us talk about it enough, we've talked about it a lot. Um, and I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're just gonna do a little commentary for that and then a little Q&A. Yeah. They're used to us being awkward. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guys, Not look yet. at the posters. Isn't so oh, cool? yes. Lovely poster. Yeah. Who did the um the artwork? Um the poster was a collaboration between uh the person who actually drew the picture, uh Shelby, I don't know if her her last name is B A C A, which is uh, I guess Baca. Feel bad i don't know how to say it but i've never met her <laughs> but uh i've always loved her artwork so i sent her a message on instagram when it came time for a poster she was excited to do it um so that was fun having one of my favorite artists do the poster for my film that was mm -hmm. pretty sweet so um and then the text and cleanup <laughs> uh, transferring it to a black and white image from a drawing um was by taylor drake who also did a whole lot of other things You'll see if you watch the film. Hold on. <laughs> all right, which is what we are about to do. Woo, look at all those awards. I did go to all of those festivals in person. I went to one of the festivals. Media Fright Fest. Yes. Look at this hair. <laughs> we did film this uh, beginning part first. Ooh, yeah. This shot with the dolly was the only one that had the dolly because we cut it for time everywhere mm -hmm. else because it took way too long to set up. I remember it was fun because you had to keep snapping twigs <laughs> to get her to turn around as her mark. You're like, okay. This lovely music done by Taylor. Fun fact, the uh, title came up at the very end at the festival screenings, not the beginning. Interesting. I moved it because people didn't know it was over. Yeah, I was like, didn't you <laughs> say that you had <laughs> People thought it was just the beginning when they saw the title at the end. But it is, technically. Mmm, spoilers. <laughs> One of two words spoken. I remember filming these and we were all like on the sides, like, because right. there's like a little like ledge kind of there. And we had to just sit on the sides and like be very still. As you can see, it's very leafy it was hard that uh canteen is the same canteen that eli uses later in the film but it has a little sleeve over it it's uh it's being very frugal only buying one canteen <laughs> vietnam era i believe it's a nice bag <laughs> if only it was in the room with us wow <laughs> it's a bag in the room with us right now <laughs> they actually both are because the smaller bags inside the big bag oh over goodness. there should have held it uh, those utensils that she has on the side of her bag were a nightmare. <laughs> they were a like audio nightmare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they also fell off at some point. Yeah. Uh, they did. So they're not in this shot. Yeah. But we'll see them later. So don't All worry, right. they come back. My job as script supervisor didn't do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. You had it. a lot on your plate, but not an apple. No. I almost wore that shirt today. This bread mm. was. Uh, very special bread. It came from a gluten-free bakery in the Italian market, I want to say, in Philly. We had, I think, four loaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she said it was pretty good. Didn't we also have to, like, like turn it or something? If she ate, like, yeah. we had to redo parts. Because, like, you know, she's eating a whole bunch of it. So we're like, okay, we have to make sure we get this right. Right. Because <laughs> we only have so many loaves of bread. I do regret making her film that right after lunch mm. should have done it right before lunch so she was actually hungry yeah. but she she sold it it's all good the bread eating was actually the audition uh yeah. was what we made them audition with i saved that <laughs> it's a piece of history we had three different hills we looked at and varying difficulties and we let kaylee choose which one she wanted to run up yeah i think she chose the middle difficulty yeah. this I'll was admit also the, fun i would this was fun the easy one personally <laughs> She was committed to the bit, the she falling was. and everything. Right, we she were fell. like, wow. I hope her elbows are fine. We were talking about, we took out a bunch of scenes that were supposed to be here um, for time purposes. Because we were actually filming, you know, outside in the woods and we can't control the sun. 
So. When the sun starts setting, we gotta, we gotta be go. done. Because who wants to be in the woods in the middle of the night? This tree is sadly not on the trail anymore. Sadly, but I mean, I guess it makes it more accessible. But I was there the other day, and it was yeah. not there. I'm glad it was there for us. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we would have done if it wasn't. I know. We all had to climb through it. Did you? Yeah. Because we had to get on the... We were, like, coming from the other end, so we had to go under it to get to the other side to not be in the shot. Uh, when we were filming this, well, after we did the first take, I was like, uh, let's give her a couple minutes to get back up there, and then she sprinted up the hill. I was like, all right, <laughs> guess we're going for another one now. Hey, no, whoa, whoa. There it is, the rest of the words. Yeah. <laughs> this location was chosen pretty last minute. This was... Mm -hmm. If one of, if not the last shots that we got, yeah, I, what I believe so. so. I like it too. And I like it. She's like put between it. It's yeah. like it's kind of reminiscent of the arch that she walks through. Yeah. Hey, what's going on there? Oh. Gag. <laughs> This flickery thing that happens here was all uh, Nico, the editor's idea. Oh. Um, okay. yeah. <laughs> it was producer. supposed to end <laughs> on a different shot, but he did that, and I was like, I like that better. So. Hey. Nice. Nice. Woo! When filming, I remember we took out a lot of um, like close-ups mm -hmm. and things like that, things that would have made it longer, just because. We had to. <laughs> yeah, we had two days. We had two and days. We used them. We you, <laughs> we were, were how early did we get up? Uh, I don't know what time we got up, but I mean we were out there at sunrise and then yeah. we wrapped up at sunset. I mean we went back for what lunch. What time of year was it? It was fall. It was yeah. October. Yeah. I want to say eleventh and twelfth or twelfth and thirteenth. Yeah. So it, it wasn't was... like like daylight savings. It wasn't like you were getting up what like. I no, I think it was like it was five. Like yeah, I think it was like five a.m. I was. So. I think I was the first one up too, because you know I couldn't sleep. Um, yeah. No, I was definitely like, okay, <laughs> time to get up. All right, but I think now we can get into our Q and A queries. Awesome, I have some. First one. What is the name of it? <laughs> <laughs> this is on a, on the TikTok, right? This is the TikTok question, Adam. This is the this was a question asked on TikTok because it's available on TikTok on Vimeo has nine views on there. <laughs> um, wow, YouTube and Instagram, but TikTok did give us the best question. What is the name of it? And I got to tell you, it's it's called the Trail. <gasps> wow, I don't know how we ever would have found that. It's oh, like it's hidden. <laughs> So yeah, that uh, those words at the beginning are in fact the name of the film. So <laughs> thank you for submitting that question. How did you decide on the location? So the location didn't come like after the script was written. It kind of influenced the script. Uh, it's one of my favorite hiking spots. It's in Millville, New Jersey, and the it's just such a unique spot. that I was hiking there one day and just thinking about wanting to make a film. And the kind of parallel trails where, you know, at the bottom, you can't see up, but at the top, you could definitely see somebody walking down. I mean, that really just helped solidify what I wanted the story to be. And that kind of being watched and watching at the same time is, is the only place we could have filmed that. Like if we, for some reason, couldn't access that spot, like it just wouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I mean, I'm sure there's somewhere else like that, but mm -hmm. not that I know, not that we would have had access to. Uh, in the time that we whole had. other trail right. to find <laughs> if there's a spot just like that right uh is it considered folk horror if you consider it folk horror then absolutely <laughs> um i, I, I guess it would, i don't i can't say i'm super familiar when i'm googling what in fact do you mean? Folk i mean i guess like a sub genre of horror but like i don't like what else would be considered Folk horror. You like the witch? That feels like that sort of thing, right? The witch. Like, <laughs> which, which? The A24? Um, the goat? I, I know of it, but I haven't oh. seen it. I mean, you know, they're. Well, what category would you people. like? Uh, the witch is considered a folk horror. Yeah, Nailed as well it. as Midsummer. 
Oh, so I have to use that. Yeah, that's a good one. You got your flower crown handy. <laughs> it's actually yeah. in there. I do. I do have my flower crown handy. Yeah. Um. Well, what Blair, um genre thought? would you consider? I feel like I should have called it a mystery because it's not action packed like I'd expect a thriller to be, but it is. Like on YouTube, I did call it a thriller just because I looked up the definition of mystery and thriller and it seemed to fit thriller more. Yeah. Um, I did receive a nice comment saying that it was the worst thriller someone had ever seen. Oh, I said I wasn't okay. going to say that. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, so, you know, maybe maybe they're right and it's not a thriller, but it's not the worst film you'll ever see. Um, it's not. <laughs> I've seen worse. So, I've seen worse films. This is a great compliment, thank you. <laughs> so to answer the question, I guess it's horror. <laughs> How long did it take? To the actual production days. Two two days. We were assembled for the production for three or four. Um, because like you know, got there the night before, mm -hmm. got a bunch of gear ready that didn't end up working um <laughs> and then we had the two days of production and then we had like why you always prepare right <laughs> even though it doesn't always pay off yeah um but and then another day for kind of getting everybody's gear back rip alongs and sending everybody home um but as for how long it took to plan i mean it was written i think a matter of years before we even got into pre-production i don't think i think it was just a few months because we did the um you did the you did a camp no you didn't campaign oh like fundraising yeah, like i was fundraising, campaign president campaign. came to mind i was oh. like no I, I didn't do that adam for president <laughs> i don't i think it only took like a few months and then we got everything together and you were the very first person who knew it existed at all nobody had read the script oh, or anything oh my <laughs> i feel so honored because <laughs> it was both of our first like project kind of like in that sense after college Right, right so. because we were supposed to do our final project yes. at Rowan together, um, directing a film Anya wrote, mm -hmm. and then COVID, yeah. and then mm -hmm. we didn't get to do that, mm -hmm. so that was why I reached out to Anya, because I mean, we had we had a good pre-production going before that got I know, it was canceled. so great, we like, did <laughs> casting and everything, it was, it was great. But... So I knew who I needed, but uh, <laughs> it just took a little longer than it was supposed yeah. to be. Let me tell you guys, these two work very well together. I had I was not in production for the trailer. My first experience with it was watching it. But <laughs> um yeah, they work really well together. I was helping out with Anya's and they're a good team. Oh, how long did post take? Post took well the actual process of post didn't take that long like nico's a really quick editor but yeah, i is. just really dragged my feet sending it to him because well i didn't he, I, I knew of him but he wasn't in my life so i didn't actually know who was going to edit the trail i just knew i didn't want to do it mm -hmm. um so it sat in its uh the hard drive sat in their watertight fireproof box for a long time mm -hmm. um i think i don't know it probably sat there for three or four months just i don't know i was tired uh were there bugs <laughs> Anya can take this oh, one. Boy, were there. Um, there weren't really too many bugs like walking around the trail because it was like October, so you know, everything's slowly dying, thankfully. Aren't we all? Um, <laughs> <clears throat> there wasn't too much, but if anybody knows anything about like bees or wasps or whatever, uh, they do like to burrow in the ground sometimes. Which, fun fact, I don't think I knew that until we saw them in, on the trail. So I think it was when we were scouting. Were we scouting the hills that she was going to go up? Cause the one... It was, yeah, it was supposed to be when she, the spot where she drinks the water. Because mm -hmm. um, we needed to be above and below for that one because, you know, it's the same location where Eli is later. Um, So I took my smart self up the hill mm -hmm. to make sure it was the right spot and then back down. And along with me came a few hundred friends <gasps> yes. that were not very nice to our crewmates. Kaylee's allergic to bees, right? So yeah. we were like, okay, we have to, we have to move. We did have to pick a new location for that. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't great. I think that was the only like instance with bugs though. Yeah, maybe some spider webs across the trail yeah. in the morning, but for the yeah. most part, it was fine. 
Um, but I yeah, the you bugs were a big one. And cleared out the spider webs. Uh, that might have. That sounds like something. I don't yeah. have any memory of that, but that I think sounds... you were just like, all right, I'm just yeah. gonna like <laughs> walk through and just like get all the spiders <laughs> out of here. Such a such a martyr. <laughs> How did you decide on the wardrobe? I knew since the like second draft of the script that I wanted it to be kind of old timey. I didn't want people to be in modern clothes, but I also didn't want to put a specific date on it. Mm. So I feel like their costumes are kind of timeless while also giving kind of a I don't know a vintage flair. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> so Taylor Drake and I went to well I made like a, a Pinterest board and then Taylor Drake and I went to a number of thrift shops in my area and picked out the clothes in the actor sizes. Got a few different things and had them try them on when we finally met them. And that's how we ended up with those. And Taylor also he kind of scuffed up the clothes and rubbed in some dirt which was funny to watch mm -hmm. and he, oh and he added the 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 grass stains on kaylee's knees this is like stood out to me so it's so interesting the grass stains yeah those were a very last minute addition and mm -hmm. to tell you the truth it was a little too green at first and that was very scary to me mm -hmm. um but he did he did fix it so okay props to taylor <laughs> well how do really? you pick the um the, like book bag and oh i got that on mercari you guys see it <laughs> yeah let's see it Oh yeah, I forgot that we can move. We don't have our labs on. So like I did not forget. I am excited about oh. it. <laughs> no, you just throw that anyway. Everything else. <laughs> oh, there's those utensils. <laughs> this is the bag, guys. <laughs> Look at it. And inside the bag we have another bag. Oh, that's the box. There's some other stuff in here too. Don't worry about that. <laughs> right. During filming, we did fill the bag up with towels so it looked full of stuff. This is Eli's bag. It's like an old army bag. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the inspiration for Eli's uh, costume was like generic military old school stuff. This is the canteen as used by Eli. This is the canteen as used by Kaylee. Kaylee actually drank water out of it. Mm -hmm. um, we cleaned this with Everclear. And mm -hmm. when I bought it, the cashier mm -hmm. told me to be careful. I didn't explain to her what I was doing because, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I bought this at, I think I bought this all, no, these two were from eBay. This was from Mercari. Um, I still feel like I should send this guy a message be like, Hey, use your bag in a film, but I think you probably think I was weird. <laughs> what was the casting process like? It was, it actually wasn't that bad. I mean, we made, um, our little casting notice. What is it called? casting call yeah casting call there you go casting call um and we put it on like i think you put it on facebook groups right i believe i did yeah yeah and that in film.org which is the philadelphia film office's website and we use backstage right. to do the rest and that is where we found kaylee and a bunch of other um great actresses uh and it was relatively easy like we just had them do the the bread scene yeah um, the actors for uh the main character yes, yeah they the did the character. they did the bread scene and then what was the um i think it was just running and like looking was it the looking, running and looking, looking scared? scared and when we were like picking the sides or picking the things like for them to do we were like this is hard because there's no words but i guess we were like you know if they can do this then they can do anything they can do right. it all. there were lots of interesting submissions lots of good submissions yes lots we're... of good submissions and it, it was tough but Kaylee did an excellent job. Yeah. And we we're glad, very glad we found her on there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. for uh, Eli's character, we, well, we found Eli on film.org, like through film.org, not mm -hmm. through backstage. What was the side for that? Was it the, oh, was it the like shy kind of yeah, like I think walking it was by? Like the walking and, like, by and like looking back. and being like, oh, <laughs> hey, yeah, I think it was that part. And they were all online submissions. They yes. were not. Like we, we didn't, didn't meet any of these yeah, people before. We didn't meet any in well, they yeah, filming. Yeah. So, um, what year was it? Was it 2021? 2021. Yeah. What would you say was your biggest struggle during the filming process? Time. And not in like the world of the story way, but it's kind of a problem for them too. But <laughs> uh, everything was just such a time crunch. Yeah. Um, I mean, we had two days. Probably should have had three. Mm. Didn't have three. Had to deal with it so we had to cut a lot like, of the no matter what with filming you're always going to be like i wish i had one more day right like i feel like that's just kind of the process 
I feel like time also hurt because uh, figuring out how to film things. Because remember, <laughs> we were like, okay, so this scene is technically supposed to happen before, but now the sun is at a different angle. So like, mm. we don't want it to look too weird. So it was, it was a lot. But then it also then, kind of plays into the story because mm -hmm. like, if we shot everything from this location in you know like at a specific time then right. it's like it's always that time at that spot which yeah. is kind of true yeah, yeah. you know it's like you're Ooh. walking through time <laughs> so it's like that was it was both a struggle and a creative choice yeah what the... <laughs> <laughs> <Skinny chills. laughs> how did the shooting environment impact the filming process i feel like we just touched on that mm -hmm. on a couple of different questions but um the filming process is all, i mean we had we, we were out in the woods so we didn't have facilities uh, for, well, you know, came through and <laughs> figured out some facilities first. But I mean, we uh -huh. had to, we had to drive there and then we had to hike out, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes until we actually got to our spots. Yeah, with that big with all wagon. Gear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just the fact that we had to get out there with all our gear and the fact that, you know, obviously the woods, there's no bathroom or easy parking. Mm. Um, but I did make arrangements with a homeowner whose land backed up to the um the wildlife management area who said that we could park in his yard which saved us a lot of walking and he was cool and he said we could put a porta potty there which really i mean if we couldn't have the porta potty out there it would have been a big issue i feel mm -hmm. like because like you can't just tell people to work in the woods all day with no bathroom that's right. psycho yeah. but also the fact that it's a public trail so like right anybody could have walked up anybody could have walked up or like wasn't your brother that was cleaning up yeah uh, my brother and his friend seth um they walked ahead of us on the trail and with um, the pointy things to pick up trash and trash bags and rakes and um, they filled so look, up. This film helped the environment. It's true. <laughs> this was a net gain for the planet. Nice. There you go. For as much as I love this place, like there are some people who definitely go there and don't respect the area at all. They just mm -hmm. dump trash or they, um, I mean, there's evidence of people having like campfires and stuff out there. So it was really good to have those two up ahead of us, making sure everything was clean and just looked like the natural world rather mm -hmm. than somebody's party with beer and Doritos. <laughs> yeah. Everybody as nice as that. Thank you, is. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Nathaniel and Seth. Yay. Was the 4 3 ratio a creative choice? Yes. The 4 3 was. <laughs> I had that question. This wasn't my question, but I had that question. Well, it's your question now. Okay. <laughs> so the 4-3 uh, was for two reasons. One, because I wanted to kind of have that old-timey feel, and that's, yeah. you know, the old-timey format. And the other reason, or I guess really three reasons, but that was reason one, old-timey look. Um, number two would be that um, it, like, kind of helps the claustrophobia, because, like, Kaylee's character is kind of trapped there. So mm -hmm. the less wide open space we see, the more we feel trapped. Mm -hmm. And the other reason is kind of a practical reason, um, which is to say that we had to huddle on the sides of trails. So if you're not seeing the side of the trail, we can be right outside of that box. Yes, we did. And you won't know. Yes, we nice. did. Is this worth watching? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't ask that a second later. Spit on the <laughs> it was all over the camera. <laughs> spit take. I certainly hope it's worth watching. That's what I told that lovely TikTok commenter. <laughs> I don't think well, what yes. do you guys think? I think it's worth watching. I think watching. it's worth watching. Absolutely. You heard you it here first, guys. It yet, it's kind of crazy because we just played it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. Did you just like skip to this part? <laughs> you just skipped the whole film. Yeah. It's fine. What else did you do? What, what else did I do? That's uh, like in general. Um, <laughs> or... <laughs> no idea. I'm not going to lie. All right. Uh, well, I wrote the film. I directed the film. I executive produced the film. Um, wow. I feel like these things always go hand in hand, though, when it's a small project. And... Yeah. You wind up doing, like, eight different jobs. Right. Especially if it's your film. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I did pull focus at one point, too, so I was my own first AC. <laughs> so jot that down. Write that down! Write that down! What did you do, Anya? What did I do? Um, a whole I... lot, for the record. Did a lot. Um, <laughs> I also helped produce i guess also helped we were both casting directors yeah um yeah, i didn't even consider that yeah we were both <laughs> technically we both have casting experience i supervised the script made sure that you know we were following what the script says and all of that and making sure that we cut things out that didn't need to be there 
Um, I also AD'd a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot of it. <laughs> and what's Be- AD? Oh, assistant directoring. I realized the way I was saying it, it wasn't going to come. I was assistant director. <laughs> it was mostly just me trying to keep us on time because I was like, the sun is going down and I don't want to be out here. So I don't care what y'all do. I was literally telling Adam, like, you have one more shot. You get this in one more shot. If it's not done, then we're going to pick the best one and move on. Anya would say, uh, 3 p.m., Adam. And I'd say, thank you, Anya. And a tear would fall down my face. And then a few minutes later, she'd say, somehow, 4 p.m., Adam. And I'd say, thank you, Anya, and turn away from her. Because she was right. <laughs> but it was not easy. The stranger. What do it mean? <laughs> I'm going to get you one of these times. No, I'm done drinking water. It's not safe around here. What does the... I'm just going to try to interpret this. Um, well, neither of the characters have names that anyone knows. Mm-hmm. As we established, even I don't know them. So we gave them names. Kaylee's character is she, because in the script it says she does this, she does that. And the stranger is somebody we don't know. And we needed call them something <laughs> but the stranger is a lord huron song and one of my favorites so i'd like to think that that influenced my subconscious into selecting that mm-hmm. i can't say for sure mm-hmm. but as what the stranger represents i think that's the, the they're a person mm-hmm. they're, they're both people so people. that's important to know what material influenced this film what a lovely question i would say I love the Twilight Zone, and I kind of wanted this to feel like a, I don't know, a mini episode of the Twilight Zone, and I feel like it comes off. I feel mm-hmm. like it did that, um, you know, where you just kind of have a weird concept introduced, and then more weirdness ensues, and then at the end, you don't necessarily have... Zero explanation. <laughs> right, or like, even if you have a sort of explanation, like, mm-hmm. I don't know, like... you. It's kind of like, well, that, that's nice, resolved. right? Just, yeah. yeah. And it's not exactly a lesson for yeah. most of them. Usually it's just, wouldn't this be weird? As for like aesthetically, I'd say kind of the music videos uh, from Lord Huron kind of influenced that a lot, especially their uh, Strange Trails era stuff. Um, that kind of dark, woodsy aesthetic. And I'm going to say Christopher Nolan. <laughs> nice okay last question when's the full film coming out <laughs> there is no watch. full film it's a short film yeah <laughs> this is it you guys this watched it, it. like if you've seen it you've seen it nothing else exists in that universe you know what you should do you should just put out like a one-hour version where it just, it just loops. loops yeah it just keeps going i wanted to do that so badly <laughs> on it like honestly i wanted to do that it didn't it didn't work out with like just the way things were shot but i feel like that would have been funny Mm-hmm. it's like we're like just keep going right or like an art installation type thing where it's like yeah. come see this never-ending art piece like you can <laughs> step in at any point and see yeah. it it's mm-hmm. like it would work but in some ways and in others it wouldn't but yeah at some point i did try to write it as a feature mm-hmm. and then i realized i was kind of just phoning it in because like i didn't yeah. I, I didn't need it didn't need to do that because mm-hmm. like it's still the same story yeah even if you add you know some background and other stuff it's still this is what happens. Yeah. There's no need to drag it out over an hour and a half or mm-hmm. worse. Right. Three hours. I think it's definitely good to know, like, as a writer, knowing what can be, like, short, like, even writing books, you know, what can be a short story, what can be a short film versus what can be a feature, you know? Yeah. I think sometimes we see a lot of, like, feature mm-hmm. films that could have been shorts mm-hmm. or, like, we see like TV shows that should have been a movie mm-hmm. and it's like, you stretch this way too far. Like this all should have just been in a film. So it's good that you knew, like you knew that it wasn't working as a feature. But thank you for anyone who wanted to see it as a feature. I appreciate <laughs> that. But you can just watch it. I don't know. Somebody do the math a bunch of times in a row and it'll feel like a feature. I have a question. Are you working on anything else? Define working. <laughs> have, like, I, have I actively put my fingers on a keyboard and... Uh, n- no. <laughs> but I mean, I do have some treatments written that I would like to turn into scripts. And some lines of dialogue that I would like to squeeze in somewhere. 
Mm -hmm. um that's right guys i can write dialogue i promise <laughs> um pop quiz tell me all the words spoken <laughs> what hey and uh oh what does, what does whoa or, 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 like whoa it was something like that <laughs> so, yeah, yeah it's like a whoa whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah hey man whoa like, <laughs> <laughs> just take it easy just take it easy man <laughs> uh i think that was it i think you should give it an a minus yeah you did miss one i did after Kaylee goes underneath the, uh, that like fallen tree, mm -hmm. she looks around and she goes, damn it. Oh. oh. I, was, I thought it was like, oh hell, or something like that. But... <sighs> damn it. I did forget about that one. Wow. I guess I don't know the film that well. Gotta watch it again. <laughs> all right, back to it. I think that's all. Yeah. Yay. Woo! This was so much fun. This was fun. I like doing that a lot. Thank you for having me. Of I like course, this. of course. Thank you for. Mm -hmm. Words <laughs> for words. There You're were... welcome for. There were words. I was gonna say for thank me. you for your presence. For I think what I was gonna for, say. For my presence, wow. The film <laughs> and follow Adam on any social. You know, your stuff? socials. Um, the trails website probably the most important thing as long as it exists. <laughs> is www.thetrailshortfilm.com mm. and on socials i am adam's long day no spaces periods or well, i guess it could be a space fun Let's... fact i thought his name was adam long at first <laughs> i remember i said i and you were like it's actually adam clark and i was like oh okay. where does that come from then yeah i was like wait but is it adam's long I was like, Adam, well, I, I was confused. Somebody asked me if my name was Slong Day one time. So. <laughs> <laughs> like Adam Slong Day. Slong Day. Everybody, everybody think Adam Slong Day for being here. <laughs> that should be your um your director name. Mm. Slong Day. I'll, I'll do people, my... People will remember that. Right, I'll do my more avant-garde films under that name. There so you they go. Don't, right. Yeah. yeah. But I guess Slong maybe this day. should have been under that name. Though. <laughs> well, it's never too late to start. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Are we going to do our our usual? All right. Um, if you watch to the end, give us some trees. Trees and a hiker. There's a hiker. There is a hiker. Yeah. And a hiker. Hiker emoji. Mm -hmm. And tell us when was the first time you watched this movie? What's your favorite part? Mm -hmm. I like the damn. You know, I like the part where she was running through the woods. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah. I like that part. Yeah. On a serious part, I like In Between the Trees. I said that when we were watching it was my favorite shot. That I was like about to say, shot. I like the part with the trees. <laughs> <laughs> I had specific I mean, trees. No, I do remember when we found that shot and we were like, that's dope. That's the one. Like, yeah, that one was really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why it's... Because that's what this is, right? Wait, oh, well, what? no, this is the arch. Yeah. Yeah, that's the archway. The arch. Everybody say arch. rest in peace to the part on the bottom there. I don't know if I'm blocking it. Because it's it's not there anymore. I'm gonna go cut down a tree in the back. <laughs> yeah, Adam hikes the tree. I remember when you said it was done and you were like you're like it's done. You're like, now I'm just gonna go reminisce and walk the trail. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like just think about it. And I was like, You have fun with that, but <laughs> you have fun. I like how you said you were gonna cut a tree down. Just to put it there, you were helping the environment. Now you're cutting it down. Adam giveth, Adam taketh away. <laughs> Don't mess with him. Okay. <laughs> Don't cut your trees down. Don't cut your trees down. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.